What's up guys, welcome back to my channel now. I'm gonna do something a little bit differently today. So if you're here for just the title, for me talking about the movie, look at the first comment that's pinned on this video. There will be a timestamp, you can click on that, and it'll take you directly to when I talk about the movie. And if you're here for the full vlog, just don't do anything, because it'll start in three, two, one. I'm here. Is that it? Hey. lunch? Yeah. We going to get the other guys? No, just you and me, bro. Bro date for lunch. Wait. Just a bro date. Bro date? This is fun, huh? So, uh, how's Greece? No, just trying to eat it. So. Speedy? Hey, what's up? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I could definitely, um, yeah, that's that's perfect. Hey, we got, we got to go. I got it. Bro, bro day just started, no, no, man. No. I saw many more things I want to talk to you about. Yeah, in a second. Okay, bye. Got it. Hey, we got to go. Hey, guys, that was a joke at lunch, okay? You think that I'm that weird and not cool? Look how cool I am. I'm wearing sunglasses. And me and Cody are friends. Cool friends. See? I'm a big germaphobe. I hate touching things that I think are gross and have germs on them. One of the things I think is really gross is gasoline things. So I use my shirt to grab it so I don't have to touch it with my hands. I hate it. I mean, just think about how many people have touched those gasoline nozzles. It's disgusting. Anyway, let's get into the title of the video now. All right, guys, now to the title of the vlog. So maybe a month or so ago when I made a video about going to a German movie theater for the first time, I asked you guys, what are some German movies that I should watch? <laughs> oh, I'm going to spill my coffee. And the overwhelming majority of the responses were for me to watch this movie called Goodbye Lenin. So this is just the second German movie that I've ever watched. The first one was um, Look Who's Back the one where Hitler comes back in modern times. So this is just the second time I've ever seen a German movie, so it's a pretty new experience for me. But uh, without further ado, let's get into Nalf's movie review. So for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with the movie, here is the synopsis uh, from Wikipedia. The story follows a family in East Germany. The mother is dedicated to the socialist cause and falls into a coma shortly before the 1989 revolution. When she is revived eight months later, her son attempts to protect her from fatal shock by concealing the fall of the Berlin Wall and the collapse of socialism. <laughs> So just a couple facts about the movie real quick, also from Wikipedia. The movie was made in 2003, it was shot mostly in Berlin, the Berlin area, 
it was made for approximately 6.5 million US dollars and it grossed the box office just under 80 million dollars so a huge financial success it was also a critical success and was nominated for a bunch of awards and won a bunch of awards just a couple things that jumped out at me just watching it from like a filmmaker's perspective just some techniques there's like a moment where uh, the guys are like installing all these satellites at an apartment complex and then they do this effect where the satellites kind of shine and there's a ding sound effect and it's just kind of like a quirky little humorous uh, effect I guess that is just something that I have never really seen in a, a US movie or a Hollywood movie so that was something different that stood out to me. <laughs> There was also this effect that they did a bunch of times with the motion where they would speed things up. Usually with like cars driving into a location and the characters getting out uh, to open up a scene. And I never really see that effect in Hollywood movies or American movies. Um, but I liked it. It was, it was cool. It kind of has a little bit of a comedic effect and it felt very European. I feel like I see that in like French movies maybe or something. But it just felt very European to me. But it was a cool effect. And very practical. I thought the acting was really, really good. The lead actor who plays the son, Daniel Brühl, I thought he was like fantastic in the lead role. So there was one scene where the mother finally comes out of the apartment, um, wanders out into the street and sees all of this stuff happening, all this stuff coming in from West Germany. And the score, the music, I thought was really, really good. I usually don't notice the music right away when I'm watching a movie, but that really stood out to me. It was like very powerful and served the moment well. Like you could tell exactly how she felt by the music. Confusion, excitement, awe, and terror. Very powerful. Look at me using all these uh, pretentious filmmaking words that I learned at one semester of film school. Good job, now. So the movie's supposed to be like a little bit of a black comedy, dark comedy, I believe. I didn't laugh at all, but I could see where there were comedic elements. I mean, the whole premise is kind of funny. Funny, just the fact that they're trying to hide such a massive event from their mother. I mean, they go to like really extreme lengths to try and keep this secret from their mother as far as like shooting their own news segments to explain certain things that see what she was seeing like she saw a coca-cola banner being hung outside of her window and they made a news segment to explain why that was there here in, in east germany uh this western uh company western brand the main thing that i took away from the movie was how big of a deal it actually was when the berlin wall came down i mean i obviously had heard about the berlin wall in east west germany uh before i came to live here and then once I got here I learned more of the details just hearing some people like some of our coaches who had experience with family there and stuff like that and living through that time period but then to actually see not firsthand but like in a movie how it's handled how it actually was sort of for people how big of a deal it was um, just like all these new things coming in it was really like two worlds colliding you know it was just so shocking and different when things like coca-cola uh, Burger King, uh, different types of clothes, different types of cars came into former East Germany to former East Berlin. I think the movie does a really good job of kind of showing the importance and impact and significance of that event while also being entertaining at the same time because it was uh, also just a really entertaining movie like I, I really liked watching it. Um, so I think the movie does a good job of blending that entertainment but also showing you how significant of an event this was. I would say I would recommend this movie for any American to watch because I imagine most German people are pretty familiar with the situation. American people probably have heard about it but don't know like the gravity of how massive of a deal this was. And I think this movie does a good job of showing kind of how crazy it was uh, when the Berlin Wall fell and how these things changed. And uh, so I would recommend this to my fellow Americans to watch, both entertaining and educational. All right, guys. And actually, one thing, if any of you guys actually lived through that, we're in Berlin, or it can talk about kind of the fall of the wall, uh, how things changed for you, how things stayed the same. I think that'd be super interesting because this is a fascinating topic and one that I didn't really have any interest in until watching this movie. So good. All right, guys, that's it for Nalf's movie review. Let me know if you like these movie reviews because I like watching movies and talking about them. Okay. That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.